Don't mind if I do, Hugh. Don't mind if I do. Add him to the list, baby. <laughs> oh, that emoji has inspired the worst of me, but I do like it. Like a little octopus dude, is that the uh, ore part? Hello, good game. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel and check out some groovy content. Make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. It helps more than I can ever explain. Today we'll be playing Milky Smooth 2022 version one. Uh, really enjoying the new standard 2022 queue, trying out some of our old favorite decks and uh, seeing if they stand up with uh, the loss of some of those cards that again, rotate out come September. But you can get a head start on what that new meta is gonna feel like within that new queue, which is really exciting. And in today's video, we'll be playing Mono White, uh, you know, starting at like 98% Mythic, climbing into top 1200 uh, at one point, which is really cool. So uh, the deck works and we're just kind of looking at fine tuning it uh, as we go forward. In today's video, we'll break down the current deck list, talk about all the strategies and synergies that are incorporated, break down our gameplay footage here, uh, and of course wrap up with our final thoughts and where we think the deck will go in the future. So again, massive thank you uh, to those of you who are still with us. Uh, of course, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel because I'll be giving out a complete rare playset once we hit 35,000 subs, which is really cool. So get in on that and check out the link tree link if you want to support the channel or join the community, right? There's lots of cool things in there as well. So again, one massive thank you one last time and uh, let's get into today's deck. Milky Smooth Standard 2022 version 1 is a 60 card best of 1 2.3 average mana value with 3 non-creatures and 34 creatures. We have 23 land to support the lighter curve and it is all uh, of planes, right? We have the snow in the deck still for Faceless Haven. In my opinion, within this deck, Faceless Haven outvalues the new white man land. Uh, in a big way, the flying is cool, but the Haven is just so, so valuable with Vigilance. Talking first about some of the things we lost. Selfless Savior, you're out of here. Uh, Alset of Life's Bounty, you're gone, right? So these are the two things that we lost that I uh, noticed. If we lost anything else, it must have not been that important because I didn't notice, right? So those are the two cards that we lost, and they were very important to the deck because they provided a level of protection on our high value creatures. With that being said, we ditched that kind of uh, control variant and we go now more towards a full aggro variant. If they have it, they have it. If not, you know, that's fine. We're just going to apply as much pressure as we can all the time. And as we, you know, flip the coin over and over, the majority uh, of times should land in our favor. So let's talk about what's new in the deck. Kind of rigging the game is Guardian of Faith, a 3-2 with Flash and Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, you may phase out any number of target creatures you control. This is absolutely amazing. It will protect them from everything. And then as soon as your turn starts up again, because you'll be casting it uh, on your opponent's turn, I assume, um, you know, that's going to be great. So <laughs> as long as uh, this is in our hand and we have untapped mana, we can just protect our whole field, they spent their mana on the wipe, the removal, whatever they were doing, and we can just continue to apply massive amounts of pressure. So Guardian of Faith is winning us lots of games. If you can, uh, you know, hold up that mana, you don't need it, you have multiple copies in your hand, great. Play that first one just as the 3-2 with Vigilance, that's good enough. And now the next turn, you'll have the mana to hold up for the Guardian of Faith again, which can protect the first one, just continually applying more pressure that your opponent is trying to remove, but unable to do so. Though that's the uh, first part of the deck that's absolutely amazing. The second is the Loyal Warhound. We have four copies of this in deck. It's a 3-1 with Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more lands than we do, we get to grab a basic planes, put it into the battlefield taps, then shuffle. Very, very good. If you're on the draw, this will allow you to catch up to your opponent, which is very, very nice, right? They're gonna have three land in play. You only have two. You play the Warhound before you play your third land for that turn. It gets your third land in tapped. Then you play your third land in, uh, which will now be your fourth, which is very, very good. So that's gonna give you the advantage back in your favor if you are on the draw instead of the play. 
aggro decks on the play are already pretty nasty, and now we can kind of uh, mitigate that being on the draw disadvantage through the Loyal Warhound, which is really, really nice. And then finally, uh, we have Dawnbringer Cleric for two mana, a 1-3. When it enters the battlefield, choose one, either gain two life, destroy target enchantment, or exile a card from a graveyard. So we have graveyard uh, control or, you know, removal. And we also have enchantment removal, which is great because within the adventure in the Forgotten Realms, we released the class enchantments, in which there are a ton of. In Strixhaven, we got a ton of enchantments as well. Um, and might even been in Kaldheim a, a lot of enchantments also. So the meta is enchantment heavy. Dawnbringer Cleric is a must have. Let me mention it is a common card, very free to play, uh, and it will hold its weight uh, in the current meta, which is really nice. So, you know, that's all we have that's new in the deck. The rest is kind of the same. We have Code Spell Cleric, uh, new addition to the white deck from the last deck, but. Um, you know, just kind of filling that void of the one drop that we lost. You know, sacrificing the protection that we used to have from the dog and the bounty. Now we have added aggro through the Cold Spell Cleric, a 1-1 with Vigilance when it enters the battlefield. If it was your second spell this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on uh, a target creature, which can even be itself, which is nice. And we also have more pressure with Usher of the Fallen, a 2-1 for one, which can boast for two, creating a 1-1 token. So both of these creatures just help us apply more pressure quick early on in the game uh again at the sacrifice of that protection that we used to have which is fine just risk it for the biscuit you know there's not as much removal as there used to be either which is really nice but blizzard brawl is out there um so you're gonna have to remember that um and i actually don't mind we had uh favorable matchups against this new mono green deck which is really really good um seeing as it is probably the most powerful deck right now and this is our first kind of toss at the dartboard and if we're you know favorable against it already just imagine what we can do with it in the future so you know to kind of come full circle here we have the luminarch aspirin here one one at the beginning of your combat one one counter on target creature we control that's great put it on something with vigilance because it can attack and defend successfully whether it's the cleric the warhound or Redain, God of the Worthy, a 2-3 with Flying and Vigilance, Snowlands, our opponents control, enter the battlefield, tap, non-creature spells, they cast have uh, an additional two to be spent on that spell, which is very, very good. And we can combo that in with else, uh, the Elite Spellbinder. We can exile a card from their hand. It will have uh, an additional cost of two requirement for our opponent as well. If it is an instant or sorcery, it will receive the two edition here and the two edition from Redain absolutely amazing very very good mall of the skyclaves plus two plus two flying first strike this goes on something with vigilance again it can attack and defend that's great skyclave apparition for the removal two two when it enters the battlefield four or less non-land permanent we get to exile until it leaves the battlefield and then they get the blue xx equal to its mana value right so that's great the binder uh you know we already talked about the exile there it's a three one with flying which is very very good as well and the Lottery, Legion Angel, 4-3 with flying when it enters play. Grab a Legion Angel from your sideboard, put it into your hand. There's three more there. Of course, we have the Haven comboed with the planes in case our opponent does get through our Guardian of Faith defense strategy. And then we can just continue to apply pressure for four damage per turn as well, which is really, really nice. With that being said, you know, this is Milky Smooth in the 2022 standard Q version one very successful but i'm i'm curious if we can make it better and uh you know i think collectively we can so pay attention today what would you change about the deck we're gonna talk about that when we wrap up after today's gameplay footage enjoy like the video subscribe to the channel check out the link tree and again we'll see you soon to wrap up after this wow that's a lot of land but uh also a very nice hand we can pick something else up off the top here no. More land. <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? Get out there. Watch us top deck a one drop now. So many land. Okay, just the four Hadron. That worked out in our favor. Such a sick top deck. And we can swing in for two. They have snow, so we'll use Verdane immediately. Oh, right into the troll. 
That is kind of frustrating. But we'll be fine. Ooh, that sucks for us. So we will... Probably not be fine. <laughs> if they have more fight effects, we're screwed, right? No, it's a good thing. Sometimes my mouse uh, kind of auto clicks. The sensitivity is not good. So Redain out, land in tapped, which is nice. So now they're only tapping for four instead of five. And that might help us, but the troll is still dominating us. They should have done that first land would have been untapped as it entered. Not good. No blocks. Hopefully there's no more fight effects. I'm sick of that. How lucky can you get? Oh, you have another? We have first strike, that's always nice. And vigilance. Lines. Hmm. All right, not really the greatest, but it's there. We just need to not have any fight effects take place. Really? They just want the land? Interesting. Chariot? That's okay. Don't mind the chariot. Sentinel? Fine. It's <laughs> not a born flex, you know what I mean? And let's see what it is, right? Let's take that... Uh, choice away from them. Well, they could still probably cast it. We'll see. They have the Sentinel plus the Florahedron. Oh, it's just another Chariot. Let's swing for four. They can block if they want. Cool. I actually prefer to take away their creatures, especially the ones that generate mana for them in such dire times. The Sentinel, um, or the Chariot, I mean, can't attack at this point. Right, they don't want to risk that, I don't think, really. Just tap the troll. Oh, and they're gonna call feed the troll. That's alright. Decent play. I can respect that for sure, right? Nice line. You do slay the chariot and they can't play the other version. Well, another sentinel is going to help them get there. Warhand, Warhound out, and then we're going to maul the Warhound. Uh, creatures with Vigilance and First Strike are great. Because we can swing in, pull the blocker, hopefully. Now their mana generation's been trimmed down. We can take five damage here, right? The two cats and the Florahedron can hit us. We're going to keep the Spellbinder for an attack. Clean up these trolls. Really? We see what they have. This is just clean. Oh, that's the wrong creature. Oops. But they don't care anyways. <laughs> oh, man. That's a, a little bit of a misclick there on my behalf, you guys. That was supposed to be the Code Spell Cleric blocking with First Strike. Apparently that misplay upset them even more than me. <laughs> Our opponent plays first. Um, I don't mind it. It's turn one, turn two, turn three. Uh, with disruption on both different ways. Evolving wilds right out of the gate. Those sleeves are sick. Loving those sleeves. Superman. Playing 
some snows. Can we get a redang? We're good to go here. Usher goes up. Let's hit for free. I guess we're going in their hand next turn here. Heartless Act is gone. We just get clean hits. Let's see what they're holding. No counter spell. What's up? Oh man, Blood on the Snow is their only hope. Right now, anyways, they could draw something else. They, in fact, do. Oh, Baleful Mastery. You got my guy. <laughs> you sunk my battleship. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> Let's pop that over and... Three, uh, let's just do this, just in case, right? Take their mastery. I don't think we need the life at all. So, um, you know, that's something I don't want them to recast from the grave. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a good card. <laughs> we can still threaten a decent amount here, though. Right, like that already hits it. We have to f basically force them to block the usher, right? And sack their dragon. This is lethal. Good game. Slap them to the list, right? <laughs> nice. Our opponent plays first. We do have that triple threat turn three that I really like. So let's see how we can get there. Mono Red, the Dawnbringer might just be gaining us some life. Oh, Gruel, of course. Turbo Gruel. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna have any enchantments that really upset us. It could be playing Ranger's class. And that's why I like the Cleric. You know, it's just real good. We get the clean hit. We can also defend and survive, which is nice. Right? Get that trade there. Not even a trade. Just a zero for one. No attacks. Unless they fry us. They have two available mana. And let's see what's in that pretty little hand of yours. Oh, of course. Two of them. That's so frustrating. <laughs> Beyond belief. I'll still kill Magda. Oh, but they're going to Lizard Brawl the Binder. Maybe after the attack. Shoot. Hmm. <laughs> Frustrating. Do they do it here? They're going to do it here. No, so... Uh, this is frustrating. Let's attack with Usher. End our turn. 
We're gonna have to Guardian here. Save the Spellbinder. But he can't block now, which is bad. Right? They have one, two, three, four, five available mana. This makes six, seven, eight, nine. Goodness gracious. Right? That's not healthy. <laughs> but we do get some nice blocks here. Little oops being sent out, but you know, they're still gonna dominate us here. Double dragons, baby. Dragon! The only thing we can hope is that they're out of fight effects and we uh like I have to know if that's a fight effect before I play my maul. This is frustrating. Like, we really need to Maul Guardian to block these dragons. But if there's, like, another fight effect, that really sucks. Let's swing in for five. Basically, just hope they don't have it. And they just top deck mini lands, right? Reasonable. Mammoth is good, but not game-breaking. Nice! Whew! Okay. They could double block it, and now that would be super-duper frustrating for me. Let's see if they do. I mean, we'll get a kill on one of them. That's very good. No, it goes through. Let's put a binder in the air, see what they have in hand. I mean, chump blocks a dragon. Oh, a little frostbite action. I see, I see. Nothing in hand. We may as well play the usher as well. So basically, nothing happened there. What did they draw? Oh, it's a land! Nice! No, oh, that's a bad attack, yeah. Again, let's do the same thing. Attack first. They should double block it. That's fine, though. <laughs> I don't mind it surviving at all. And let's take the Mammoth. And I think that's going to be game. Nice. Don't mind if I do, Hugh. Don't mind if I do. Add them to the list, baby. <laughs> Oh, that emoji has inspired the worst in me, but I do like it. Like, little octopus dude, is that uh, Orvar? Could be. We need more one drops in the deck. It's such a sad world. You know, we lost a lot of things here. We lost the dog. We lost the bounty. Lots of mono green. A little bit frustrating. Especially when, we're on, when they're on the play. We're getting... Perfect friggin' drops, Randy. If they have a fight effect, I'm gonna freak out. Of course they do. They might want to play a creature, though. No! So sad. You can take your wolf, though. I'm gonna take that wolf right away. Thank you. This Outlander. Lots of people are playing with this Outlander. Oh, check this out. This is one of my favorite moves right here. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. The Dawnbringer Cleric. Total free-to-play card as well. Destroy enchantment. Got him. They still get the wolf, but whatever. Let's make that a 3-3. No attacks. Chillin'.
Maybe we can just get bigger than them with them all. It would be such high pro. We should still just maul the the uh, the code spell. Whoa! Oh, nice. Eliwick Tumblestrom in the house, going on tomb of annihilation runs here. Code spell has vigilance. Uh, you know, that's the really nice part there. I guess we should probably try to kill this thing. They'd have to complete the dungeon first, though. Let's still, you know, as a rule of thumb, prioritize the planeswalkers, right? Let's still follow it. I like it. That's my avatar. I thought about making, you know, that kind of deck, and I was just like, I don't know how to make this work. So let's see how it pans out. Uh, Tome of Annihilation, Veil of Fear, Decline, I'll lose that life, do not mind. Right, so we've both lost three life now. We have First Strike, which should protect us, I hope. They might not see this. The Haven's been made. Oh, now they use the fight. On the brawl. Good. Okay, so that's frustrating. They venture again. The plot thickens. Let's do a land. They take life. Let's kill their land. Right? We leave them the land, just take seven damage. And just assume control. Because they're going to get a 2-2 two -two out of that. I still think we trade that Faceless Haven. This is so good. Thank you. Warhound off the top. I don't even care that it comes in tapped. <laughs> Not one bit. No attacks. We need to uh, get that maul on the Warhound. They completed their dungeon. Oh, and now a Frog Hemoth. Interesting. I thought this would be a bad planeswalker. It's pulling its weight. So frustrating. It's a premature good game. I don't know if they have it yet. They're only hitting us for six. Never mind. Nice. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, that was a good display of power for that Planeswalker. Going first, just thinking how important um, Al said and the, uh, <laughs> the selfless savior were. <laughs> It, uh, it sucks not to have them, I'll tell you what. Those one drops that provide that level of protection are just super, super good. Yeah, I think I'm just going to Cleric for life gain here. What are we going to get trolled by now? Let's just play defensively for one second of our lives. No attacks. Just for once, HGG, take a defensive stance. It's 
grab their bandit lord. Just chilling. Hmm, that's good, but not good enough. I mean, we still have first strike. And this is where uh, things start to get pretty dirty, I assume. You know, Legion Angel after Legion Angel. Kind of like the jackpot of the deck. Keeping our first strike uh, as a defensive. Oh. That's good. Ooh. <laughs> We're going to have to take that and then maul the Legion Angel. Bad attack. Much better. That's a lot of damage. If they have a boost with that, we're in bad shape. Woof. That's not cool, man. Push the angel up. And then we're going to push the cleric up as well. No way. They have a frostbite. I'm going to freak out. If they frostbite this. Oh, just dragon's flame or whatever. Just as good! You jerk! <laughs> I mean, we're still holding on. That was nice. See, and that's how important that protection is. Are you kidding me? Wow. This is ridiculous. How many dragons? Too many dragons! <laughs> oh my gosh. This freaking thing is trample. We're just dead, aren't we? Like, this is 8 and 6 for 12. Or 14. Yeah, we're just dead. Unless we... You know, it's 12 with the blocker, right? Oh, that's just... Really cool stuff. Well, gold's done. Oh, we still have first strike. No? Oh, no, they have first strike, too. So it's a trade-off. They would have had double strike, so it wouldn't have. No, that should have worked. We would have survived their first strike, which we didn't. So we're just dead here, right? There's nothing we're doing with five mana. That actually hurt. Double gold span dragon. Alright, our opponent goes first. This actually looks like it might be a good hand. Let's get that cleric out. You know, just mono green. Flavor of forever. This might not be bad for us. Just push up that cleric. If we can keep pace, that'll be nice. They are snow lands, so Redane goes out as a priority. Troll immediately, yikes. No attacks. They get the first four damage through for free. Hopefully there's no br blizzard brawl. If there is, we're screwed. Right? If they do, we're in a ton of trouble. They play the land first, which signifies that they don't have it. 
because if they do, they should have used it first and had the land come in untapped. I don't know if it's people's first day or what, but it's it's frustrating for me to lose two misplays. It's happened lots today with that Blizzard Brawl. Crazy stuff. No attacks. The Werewolf Pack Leader shouldn't be able to attack unless, you know, they top deck card of the day. Blizzard Brawl. It's ridiculous how many times it pops up. It's a lot of damage, but I'm going to double block the heck out of that thing. No. We just take it. I need the Luminarch Aspirin to survive. In a major way. Let's see what their hand is, has. And if they have a Rangers class, maybe we save. They don't. Get that troll over there. And then we can gain life. We get smack with our Vigilance creatures. Can we stabilize? There's, There were no fight effects in their deck. There could be. If they got lucky in top deck. We are stopping the attack, though, at this point, I think. Right? We're in a good spot where they're going to try to just build up and go wider than we can. And we're going to, you know, execute with Vigilance, 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 Vigilance. They need to play the Ranger for Reach is their go-to. So let's see how that all works out for us here. Sentinel out. Yep. For sure. Mammoth out, I guess. I don't know. Negative. They want a big hit again. Kill the, the pack leader, take no damage, lose two creatures. Not good, not bad. We still have the core. Spellbinder, go! Just pick the mammoth. They can still play it as the land, but having it be more expensive if they want the creature is good, I guess. I'm going to start pushing up other things other than God of the Worthy, just to stop the trample damage as much as we can. More land in tapped. That's great. Four, five, six. Another troll in play. Gross. No attacks here, though. We're good. We are good here for a turn. Land. And that is a good game. Right, we have lethal in the air. They can only block one. Nice. This mono green deck is tough to beat, but it is definitely possible. All right, so we played a lot of matches today. We got to see the good side. We got to see the ugly side. Added aggro, very good sometimes. However, the lost protection is noticeable. Blizzard Brawl is out and about. Guardian of Faith can protect. However, it's not a turn one protection on for your turn two. You know what I mean? You can't play something on turn one and have it protect your turn two drop. That's not happening for us anymore, uh, as far as I can tell. So the deck still holds its weight. You know, the Vigilance now gets comboed with Maul of the Skyclaves for added aggro. Uh, great, right? Um, Maul of the Skyclaves wasn't something that I typically used in my old decks, 
but uh, you know it is finding its uh, way into this version since we don't have the protection and instead of having the protection uh, the goal is to kind of use the aspirin use the skyclaves use code spell cleric to push up one of your creatures so it can survive the fight right so you know the 4-4 four, four can't kill it anymore because it's a, a 6-5 or you know whatever it happens to be right so that's kind of where we want to go with the deck from here is figuring out uh, a nice balance of aggro to protection and testing the two against each other to see which performs better so you know stay tuned to the channel we might have a different version of this coming up what do you guys think about the deck how can we change it how can we improve it in your opinions and you know how great is Dawnbringer cleric right now destroying those enchantments i love it the loyal loyal warhound catching you up on land that is absolutely amazing as well and then the guardian of faith protecting all your creatures so there's some really nice additions into this deck so far but where can we go from here like i said let me know in the comments below thank you guys all for watching make sure to like the video on your way out subscribe to the channel to win a complete rare play set which is really cool at 35,000 subs that goes out and of course you can check out the link tree link everything from my spotify tunes the free cash prize tournaments and contests are all available there within the Discord. And you can support by joining the Patreon uh, as well. Have a magical day. We'll see you soon in the next video.